Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Make It Monday. My name is Nicole Hetty and today I'm here to show you how to do a technique I call overlapping ombre. I hope you'll uh, take a moment to look over everything and give it a try yourself. I've got my plain white card base here and I'm actually going to put uh, one of the polymer mats that I use in my die cutting machine for embossing underneath my card just so I can get a little bit more cushion and I'm also going to open up my card and that way you won't get any bounce back from the cover. I'm going to start with Harvest Gold Ink and I like to do several light taps when I'm applying ink to a stamp. gets a little bit better ink distribution helps um, eliminate you know splotches and that sort of thing. I'm going to put this about the middle and there's the happy. Now I'm going to move on to summer sunrise. Now the important thing about doing this overlapping ombre is to have the same overlap point for each addition to your stack. So I'm going to line up the serifs of the bottom of this H and the top of this H and get the point of the A right in there. Like that. And you can see right there where they're overlapping. I'm going to do the same thing again, only this time with orange zest. Again, overlapping those serifs helps it to come out perfect every time. There's that. And I'm going to go back in with terracotta tile and this birthday word from the same set, Stylish Sentiment's Birthday. I'm going to ink that up with terracotta tile. And I'm going to add that right here. And I'm also going to add a glitter star. I just cut this from white cardstock using the Seeing Stars die, the smallest one, and I covered the die cut with Prisma Glitter. So there's that. And as a last touch, I'm going to clip the four corners with Corner Chomper from We Are Memory Keepers. my favorite. And there's my completed card. My next project I wanted to show you how you could also use this overlapping ombre technique with some basic shapes or images that are in your collection. I decided to use Tranquility Trilogy. Um, I hadn't pulled this one out for a while and I thought it'd be a really uh, good, have a really good application to this technique. So I'm going to start with Sweet Blush and I'm going to ink this up. And I'm actually going to have the point go just slightly off the page. Like this. So that's my first impression. And before I actually stamp with the next color, I wanted to pick, figure out how I wanted these to overlap. And I decided I wanted the tip of this triangle to fit in right here at the point of this um, design in the triangle. So I want to pick my point and I want to stick with it uh, for all of the images that I layer, all the colors. So now I'm going to move on to Autumn Rose. And I'm going 
overlap it just like we just talked about and impress. So there's that. I'm going to move on to Scarlet Jewel. And that's going to be lined up the same way. Right like this. After I got this completed, um, I decided to add a sentiment at the stop top of this stack to kind of add balance. And I chose this one from Fancy Folk Art. And I'm actually going to ink this up with dark chocolate. And I kind of like the way the curve of this banner goes with the curve of this top design element. So I'm actually going to stamp this on here. And obviously you can't see the words on that banner all that well. So I am going to take a separate piece of Sweet Blush cardstock and stamp the banner part of the sentiment a second time on here and I'm actually going to just trim this out with scissors now here I've cut this out I'm going to flip it over here and I'm going to add a bit of foam tape to the back Peel that off, and I'm going to add this right over where I stamped it on the card base. So now I'm going to take my classic craft card base, I'm going to adhere this to it. I'm actually going to adhere this to the bottom edge of the card. And I'm going to take some fresh snow ink and just swipe it right around the edge of that craft card base. completed card. For my next project I wanted to show you how you can use some of our border stamps uh, to do this same overlapping ombre technique. Um, and For this one I'm actually going to create um, a wave or ocean like texture um, from the whale from uh, Whale Wishes. And I'm going to start with Spring Rain. Like I said earlier, if you always start with your lightest color first when doing this technique, you will not have to clean your stamps in between colors. That just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to start with the spring rain right about here. That's my first impression, and I'm actually going to go ahead and ink this up with Spring Rain again. And I'm going to do my second impression just off of center of the last impression so that the top of rounded edge of a scallop is underneath the point in between scallops from the layer above. So that's my second layer. Next I'm going to move on to Blueberry Sky. And I'm going to do the same thing. So we've got that. Do Blueberry Sky again.
Then followed by Enchanted Evening. And you can kind of see that ombre look building. That always makes this fun to see it coming together. And there's the final ombre look of the ocean. Now I've got this whale here that I die cut from Blueberry Sky cardstock. And I've got the coordinating stamp here from Whale Wishes. I'm going to ink that up with Enchanted Evening ink. And I'm just going to stamp right onto the die cut like that. And I will have this ready to adhere after I add the sentiment. Now, to add the sentiment, I'm going to first just swipe over this a bit with an embossing buddy. You do this with a dryer sheet, and it just helps to eliminate embossing powder from sticking where you don't want it to stick. And I've got a Versa Mark pad, and I've got my sentiment, which is also from Whale Wishes. I'm going to ink that up. And this is going to be added right here in the corner. I'm going to take some scrap paper and white embossing powder. I'm going to just put it over the center, shake off the exit, excess, and go ahead and heat emboss this. Now here is the whale just in here placed with a little foam tape and the sentiment uh, heat embossed. Now, I decided I'm going to put this on an Enchanted Evening card base that I've stamped with Polka Dot Basics too, but I just wanted to add a little detail um, with some twine and a circle punch that I thought I would show you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in about halfway with this, uh, it's a 5 8 inch circle punch from either side and kind of uh, have those lined up. If you want to, you could measure with a ruler. So there I've got two notches um, cut from the card base. And what I'm going to do now is take some twine and I'm going to wrap this around the card a couple times using those notches to help keep it in place. There. Tiny little tiny bow. Make sure it's laying how I want it, and then trim off the excess there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of foam tape on the back of this. And here this. Right in place. Like that. Just my bow a little bit so that 
part of the string is on the front. And there is my completed card. I hope you enjoyed everything I showed you today. And we look forward to seeing your take on overlapping ombre. And good luck with the contest.